In part one of this video, we learned how to save incoming emails automatically as files in SharePoint or it could be any place. And we saw one problem there. In part two, we'll see how to fix that problem. So just to recap what problem we saw there. So this is the flow that we created. It's a very simple flow. And as you can see, it failed in the last run. What was the reason for failure? All this flow does is looks at the email in this inbox and all the email bodies are saved as message. It worked the first time. So look at the flow structure. It worked the first time, but second time we got the error that file with the same name already exists. So how do we fix that problem? So let's go and edit the flow. And so far it's fine. So this step is fine. It does trigger, you know what's the, how to export that body, but we are getting the conflict when we create the file. Why does that happen? Because we have given a very fixed file name. And uh, since the file name, uh, a file with that name already exists in SharePoint, it gives us error. So how do we fix that prob uh, problem? Uh, one option is we may want to say, hey, choose the subject of the email. So maybe every time we get the email, you get a new subject and that can make it unique. So maybe that can solve the problem. Do you think that will completely solve the problem? Okay, let's try it. So I can save this and try sending one email. Uh, maybe I can forward the same email back. So I'll edit the subject and send the same email to this test email address and see what happens. Okay, so email is sent and email is here. Let's see what happens to the flow. Um, it's running now. And it says it ran successfully. Let's go back to a SharePoint site and see. So you see there's another test dot message. So this can make you feel that we fix the problem because now we are choosing the subject of the email. But here's another problem with that. What if I forward the same email again with the same subject? And it's very much possible in real life where you, you might get the same emails, uh, two different emails with the same subject. So for example, in this case, I send this again. Now what happens? So flow will trigger again. Of course it does. So this is the last run. Flow will trigger again. And you'll see this time it failed because now you have the same problem again. Uh, this time you chose the subject. So it's smart a little bit because now you're not choosing the same static name, but still it's a problem because you already have an a file with this subject so it cannot create a new one so you'll get the same error so how do we fix that problem fixing that problem is very simple go back to your flow edit you should think about what is the unique thing that we can do in this subject so that it doesn't conflict sorry not the subject the name of the file and one unique thing that you are guaranteed to have as unique is the ID of the email that you get. So look at when a new email arrives, look at the message ID and what I can do subject dash message ID. The reason I'm putting subject because it's also a good idea so that when users go to the SharePoint site, they can see by subject that, uh, oh, so this is the email that they have to look at, but you can also append the message ID. So that will guarantee that all your file names are unique and save it. And that should be fine. Let's try testing it again. So send this same email again. I'll keep the subject all the same so that we have the conflict and send this test email and see what happens. So let's go back to this. 
Go is ready. Let's see the run history. And you see this flow is running. And it says ran successfully. So this time it did not fail. That means it fixed the problem. Uh, and as you can see, last step succeeded. And you can also see the output and the file content and the name that was used. It's another test bash, some kind of unique name. Go to your SharePoint site and you see this another file is created with a unique identifier. So now there's no chance of conflict at all. So uh, it was a very simple fix. Uh, I know many people suggest uh, creating a file using this method, but they missed this important point that in real life you will have a conflict. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you.